क्वेश्चन 15 ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज इन एन इक्वलैटरल ट्राइंगल ए बी सी डी इज अ पॉइंट ऑन साइड बी सी सच दैट बी डी इज इक्वल टू वन थर्ड ऑफ बी सी सो लेट्स फर्स्ट ड्रॉ अ फिगर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस स्टेटमेंट सो हेयर्स एन इक्वलैटरल ट्राइंगल ए बी सी दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन रिमेंबर दैट एन इक्वलैटरल ट्राइंगल इज अ ट्राइंगल इन विच ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल एंड ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सो डी इज अ पॉइंट ऑन बी सी such that bd is 1/3 of bc so d will be closer to b than it is to c so let's take it somewhere here 1/3 of bc and now let's join a to d so we get ad so we have to prove that 9 times ad square is 7 times ab square so ad is this uh, segment and ab is this side of the triangle so we have to prove that Nine times AD square is seven times AB square. Okay, so we are given that BD is one third of BC. This is something that's given to us. So we will apply the Pythagoras theorem to solve this problem. And to be able to apply the Pythagoras theorem, we need right angled triangles in the figure. So here's what we are going to do from the vertex A. we are going to drop a perpendicular on to bc okay so let's call the foot of the perpendicular point e so what we have done is draw ae perpendicular to bc now the thing about an equilateral triangle is that if you draw an altitude if you draw a perpendicular from the vertex to the opposite side it will also bisect the opposite side which means that um, be will be half of bc so e will be the midpoint of bc so we can say that be will be half of bc correct so this means that now we can write de in terms of bc as follows so de will be be minus bd and be is half of bc and bd is 1/3 of bc so this is given to us so One half of BC minus one third of BC will give us one sixth of BC. So we have written DE in terms of BC as one sixth of BC. Okay. Now let's apply the Pythagoras theorem to two triangles in this figure. So I am going to apply the Pythagoras th theorem to triangle ABE. Let me highlight that triangle. Triangle ABE. This triangle. So that will give us AB square. an expression for ab square and then i'm going to apply the pythagoras theorem to triangle ade so ade is this triangle and the, applying the pythagoras theorem to this triangle will give us an expression for ad square and then we can relate the two things ad square and ab square so in triangle abe first we apply the pythagoras theorem so this will give us ab square ab is the hypotenuse so ab square is ae square plus pe square correct verify this from the figure if you have to then in triangle ade the second right angle triangle that i have highlighted uh, we will have ad square the hypotenuse is ad so ad square is ae square plus de square this time okay So now, if we observe the RHS of the two equations we have written, we have AE square and AE square. So if we subtract these two equations, we can get rid of the AE square, and then we should be able to relate AB square and AD square. So let's call this equation one, and let's call this equation two, and now let's subtract the two equations. So we do by one minus two. So on the left hand side, we will have AB square. Minus AD square. What about the right side? So on the right side, AE square. These terms will cancel out. So we will obtain BE square minus DE square. Okay. And now what we'll do is we will write both BE and DE in terms of BC. So we already already know that BE is half of BC and DE is one sixth of BC. so let's substitute these values so be is half of bc so we get half of bc square minus de is 1/6 of bc so we get 1/6 of bc whole square okay so this gives us 1/4 of bc square 
minus 1 by 36 of BC square. Now we have this fraction 1 by 4 and we have this fraction 1 by 36. If you subtract them, uh, 1 by 4 is 9 by 36, 9 by 36 minus 1 by 36 is 8 by 36. So we get 8 by 36 BC square and let's reduce it to the lowest form. So 8 by 36 will be 2 by 9 and also let's write BC as AB because the triangle ABC is equilateral. So BC will be equal to AB. The reason I'm doing this is we want a relationship between AB and AD. So we just want AB and AD in our equation. So we have on the LHS AB square minus AD square. On the RHS we had BC square term. So let's write AB instead of BC. So this will give us 2 by 9 of AB square. Okay, so the left side is AB square minus AD square. The right side is 2 by 9 of AB square. Now let's simplify this further. So we have AB square. So we have obtained so far AB square minus AD square on the left side and 2 by 9 AB square on the right side. So now it should be obvious what we need to do. Uh, let's take this term, uh, bring it to the left side and let's take minus AD square and take it to the right side. Okay, so this will give us AB square minus 2 by 9 of AB square is equal to, on the right side we will get AD square. Alright, and now AB square minus 2 by 9 AB square, uh, you can write this as 7 by 9 AB square. You can take the LCM and verify that this is what you will get. So 7 by 9 AB square on the left side is equal to AD square on the right side and now finally we take this 9 and cross multiply it to the right side and that will give us 7AB square is equal to 9AD square and if you look at the problem statement this is what we had to prove 9AD square is 7AB square okay so this completes our proof that these two things are equal and with this we have completed question number 15. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.